Hi, I am Ram Gopal from PresentationProcess.com. In this video, you will learn how to create magnifying glass effect in PowerPoint 2013. The beautiful magnifying glass effect you will learn to create today looks like this. Isn't this interesting? You can use this effect to highlight a certain number in a report or to highlight certain terms or words in a disclaimer, etc. Let us see how to create this beautiful effect from scratch. The first thing I'm going to do is to create the magnifying glass. So let us go to Auto Shapes menu. Under Basic Shapes, I'm going to pick up the Oval tool and I'm going to hold the Shift button down as I draw the Oval tool. Now I'm going to keep this somewhere here. Go to Format tab and see what is the height and width of the circle here. It is 2.9 and 2.9. Maybe I can round it off to 3. Now that we have a circle with 3 inches height and width, we need to make this into a transparent circle. So I'm going to right click, go to Format Shape, go to the Effects option here, go to 3D Format. Under Top Bevel, I'm going to choose a bevel called Circle. This is the first preset that you see here in the Top Bevel. And I'm going to choose the same for the Bottom Bevel as well. Now we are going to increase the width and height by a certain number. Now you can see here that the height is 3 inches. Now, whatever is the value that you find here needs to be multiplied by a factor called 36. When I multiply 3 by 36, what I get is 108. So I'm going to input the value 108 here for the bevels, both for width and height for the top and bottom bevels. So let me go to 108 here and then 108. Now we have got our bevels in place. The next step is to go to shape outline and say no outline. Then go to shape fill and choose a white color. Then let us go to the material option here and then go all the way down to translucent and choose the option to the bottom right corner called clear. And now what we have is a transparent bubble or a transparent circle. Now this is going to be the magnifying glass. Now we need to draw the other shapes around it to complete the diagram. So let us go to the home tab here. Go to Auto Shapes menu. Under Basic Shapes, I'm going to pick up this tool called as Donut Tool. And I'm going to hold the Shift button down as I draw a big donut circle. Then I'm going to click on this yellow button here and move this to the corner so that the inner circle corresponds to the diameter of the earlier bubble that we had created. Now we have the frame that holds the magnifying glass. Then we need to draw the handle. I'm going to keep it fairly simple. Let me go to the Rectangles tool here. Go to this option called Round Same Side Corner Rectangle. I'm going to draw the shape here. Click on the yellow handle here and move it all the way to the left so you create full curvature. Now let us go to Arrange, Rotate and say Flip Vertical. And then I'm going to rotate the handle here slightly and then move to this side. And then maybe I can rotate it even more yeah, that looks more or less right. And then slightly reduce the width. Now that looks beautiful. I'm going to select the handle and I'm going to select the donut shape. Then go to Format tab, Merge Shapes and say Union. So I combine all these uh, shapes and then go to Shape Fill and then give it a slight gray color. Now with the magnifying glass ready, it is time to write the text that needs to be magnified. So let us go to Auto Shapes menu, pick up the text box tool. Now I'm going to write the text that is not going to be magnified. This is going to stay outside the magnification area. So I'm going to select here and then I can write, you can magnify. So this is the sentence that precedes the term that is going to be magnified. So I'm going to increase the size here, maybe around 24. And I'm going to keep this somewhere around here and right click and send it to back. Now, the reason why I have chosen to use this word here, magnify, is pretty much everybody can make sense of this particular word, even though a part of it is hidden by the magnifying glass. Now, I'm going to write the text that is going to be magnified. So let us go to Auto Shapes menu, pick up the text box tool, and I'm going to say your text because this is the one that is going to be magnified. And I'm going to first do something very interesting. I'm going to go to Format tab, go to Text Effects, Go to ABC Transform 
and all the way down you you get this option called inflate so i'm going to choose that option now what this has done is it has converted my text into a beautiful word art now i can click and drag from the corner so i can increase the size to the way that i want now you can see that the text is inflated so it looks as if this is magnified under a magnifying glass now with this done i'm going to move this to the place here slightly going under the frame of the magnifying glass here right click and send to back i can make some adjustments in terms of its positioning now you can see that there is a beautiful magnified effect for this particular text and that is the beauty of creating your own magnifying glass effect with the text that you want to put in the magnifying area isn't this a very interesting effect to learn if you liked the clarity of my explanation and the creativity of the effects that i have been showcasing all the while in presentation process channel then you will really love our ramgopal's powerpoint mastery program it is a structured way to master powerpoint ramgopal's powerpoint mastery program is arguably the most comprehensive and creative powerpoint training online you can find more details about ramgopal's powerpoint mastery program by clicking on the no more button here and by the way i hope you liked the tutorial that i taught you in this video if you did then i have a wonderful treat for you i have put together a beautiful mini training called learn 25 creative powerpoint ideas to make your slides slick and interesting if you're a business presenter like say you are a business owner a business executive a trainer or a consultant then you will find this course extremely useful you can sign up for this mini training by clicking on the button here you can also sign up for the mini training by clicking on the link in the description area below this video so go ahead click on the button here sign up for the mini training and take your business presentation slides to a whole new level i'll see you inside the mini training